Hello and welcome back to Click to Unlock's Lego Batman 3 Free Play Mini Kit Palava Guide. This is same bat time, same bat channel. Brilliant level, retro y kind of back in time thing. And uh, as on cue, there is the red telephone, you know, from the shows that you have to hit in this little first section. You need three of them to get your first mini kit. There's the first one just at the desk there. Um, oh, what's that he's building? He's building a little build, building a little pad. What's the pad for? Oh, look. Oh, I was getting, I got sidetracked. I thought I was going to head for the phones and that, you know, but instead uh, he's going to build that uh, lantern pad and there's, a first, and there's a character stud in there. Oh, look, I got sidetracked, even though I actually did play this mission. Uh, right, so uh, here we go. We've got the second phone right there. Uh, and the third phone is on the other side over here. So get the three phones and that gives you uh, a mini kit. Right, so we've got a character stud and a mini kit so far. Uh, right, so while you're over here, you've also got this guy who wants his character piece as ever, uh, which you'll find on the desk over here. It's like a little fire extinguisher thing. Grab that and take that back over to him and uh, he will hopefully give us the second character of the level. Come on, mate. Yeah, give us that character. Give us that character. There it is. Two. Right, so uh, for another mini kit piece uh, over here, this is the story mode uh, to empty these boxes out of this here. But um, as you can see, there's something in there. Um, so I think you still have to empty them out in order to kind of make that happen, you know. Um, but in the meantime, uh, so right, basically while you're over here then, you need to, um, I'm going to do this in the, the wrong way around here, right, there's a button here, so Techno Robin can open this door, here we go, Techno Robin opens the door, and that lets out uh, all this stuff here, which enables you to build, I must say, an amazing retro -y style Batmobile, you know. Uh, and makes a little course for you to drive around. Um, so uh, I hope you can appreciate that, yeah, I was doing a different mini kit just then, but when that Batmobile appeared, do you know what I mean? There was no question of me carrying on with that. I had to get in the Batmobile. Have to carry on that and drive it superbly. Uh, so yeah, head round to these points. Oh, boom. And then go through the hurdles, uh, arches, whatever you want to call them. And that gives you a mini kit there. Nice. Look at that. Look at that Batmobile. Sweet. Right, so back to this one again. Um, so over here, da -da 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 -da. if you do your old detect uh, motion, it will make one of these little uh, sort of patches appear, which Lantern Woman, she can get a cat on it and therefore can build this switch, which will then enable you to push the conveyor belt and another mini kit will appear top work right so uh, we're moving forward now uh, there's another mini kit in here you, uh, you can't fly up and get it uh, you've actually got to bounce on top of uh, the sort of poles the bottom of the base of the poles must be some springy material down there uh, for the next part fly up onto this uh, level up here get some electric action on the go that will open up the door uh, that's below which is a part of the um, uh, part of the story um, then drop down uh, and go into the room and you'll see that there is actually uh, a switch over here and it is the switch for Plastic Man. Plastic Man can get involved, switch down and there's another mini kit. Look at that. Who would have thought? It's amazing how many like, hidden things they, these people of makers of this game can actually fit into uh, one game. Uh, right, so on to the next section, and it's the driving section, um, and basically, uh, yep, you fly around and you should collect it at the top, uh, just shoot and fly, and you will collect it, it's pretty pretty simple really, it works out pretty easy. Um, and then drive uh, closer up to the Joker, and you can take out his uh, car, and pick up another mini kit. Right, so final section. Um, we're into the uh, bar here. What is it? It's like Joker's bar or whatever in that. Um, and there's a character stud down here in the corner. So just break that stuff up down there and you can collect your character stud. 
then up in this bit up here, make a bit of a mess, destroy some bits and bobs, um, and you'll have you've got a plastic pad. So plastic man can pop you out a red brick, nice and simple. But as you can probably see, there's also a mini kit in the background. Uh, so what you need to do is get a bit of a Sonic Batman on this one. Or you can grapple that one in the teeth beforehand. I threw myself there. There are one hiding in the teeth. Give that a grapple. And then finally, you can still come back to this one and uh, use your sonar on this. Oh, sorry. It's not a sonar at all. Yeah, it's ice. It's ice. Oh dear. So yeah, melt down the ice and you can get the mini kit. Look at that. At least I'm at least just showing how it's done. Right, this one here, as you can see, I'm spending ages thinking, oh right, I've got to shoot these uh, teeth, but it's it's really not as hard as that. You just gotta literally just drop down onto this ledge and walk around. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Nice and easy. Hope you don't get caught out on the same thing. Uh, and then finally on this mission, we haven't rescued Adam West. Uh, you have to do a bit of the story to make this uh, part appear. Um, and then he's trapped underneath and you just simply burn the gold to free Adam West. Right, so that was all the bits and bobs on same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, hope that helped uh, anything that you was missing. And make sure you check out all our other videos on Lego Batman 3 on Click to Unlock. See you next time. Bye.